everyone. <clears throat> My name is Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. And today I'd like to share with you about squares, um, what squares are, where we use them and how to use them. A square is like a machinist or a fabricator's tri square actually. Uh, the one he uses to find or to get squareness of edges um, of work pieces and scribing or marking out um, dimensions on flat work pieces uh, flat work pieces or work pieces with edges an example could be a square section it could be a sheet metal it could be <clears throat> it could be a plate it could be a blow so anything with an edge or any material with edges normally to get squareness or marking parallel lines we shall need a square to achieve that <clears throat> so on my table here i'm having this tool over here and this tool you see it's the one i've been talking about and it's the square <clears throat> it's the one we use to achieve parallel lines or to mark square lines on our work pieces. Here we have our square and somebody could ask what do we use this tool for? So the square <clears throat> it has a blade as you see these ones there is a blade uh, it has a solid a solid block uh, which is 90 degrees to the blade so what we use it for this solid block with the blade it's in 90 degrees so we place always this solid block or the anvil to the edge of the workpiece so that we can achieve or mark the 90 degrees we can use it for measuring uh, parallelism of edges or the squareness of edges or even marking marking um, relatively shorter dimensions so according to the square this one is about <clears throat> this one is about 25 millimeters 10 10 inches then this one is 12 inches a foot so mainly squares they can mark out or they can give you a marking range of zero to to a foot those are 12 inches uh, so with a square you can't achieve marking out or longer or lengthy measurements so you can achieve something like a foot something like 25 centimeters something like as you can see this one something like 0 0.5 0 0.5 of a meter so a square yes we can mark but not lengthy measurements so practically how we use a square i can give an example of this particular workpiece mm, the square pipe you just simply place this anvil as we said earlier on you place it the anvil on the edge of the workpiece you make sure it sits properly on the edge of the workpiece now if i want if i want to make to mark out this whole section square all through all around i'll just get the marker and make sure the anvil is sitting properly on the edge then i mark the mark i take to the other edge still i mark to the other edge i mark and then to the last edge still i mark you'll find out that this square section once i place on a square the lines will be meeting again since the the blade 
is square to the anvil whenever I place it to the edge it will meet up to the starting point where I started so that's the first function of a square and the other one is marking out assuming I need a piece of something like 10 centimeters it has a zero mark the starting point of a square is its zero mark it's the zero so as you can see we have one two three four five six seven eight so if i want something like a hundred millimeters i go to the square i place it to the starting point i go to a hundred then i mark now here the space from here to here i'm having a hundred millimeters so assuming i i want to cut off this piece i just place my square as we saw the anvil sitting properly on the edge i place it then i mark all around so we will achieve the squareness of this 100 millimeter piece i'm cutting out so when i cut out this piece it will be square that is the main function those are the two main functions of the square marking and achieving squareness of a certain job a square is made with a provision of 45 degrees on the anvil this edge we are seeing here it's bisected the 90 degrees of the anvil and the blade is further bisected to achieve the 45 degrees since most of the joints in the fabrication works are 90 degrees take for instance doors uh, window shutters uh, tables most of the joints are 90 degrees so that's why they provide or they bisect the anvil and the blade with the 45 degrees so once i want to get an edge of 90 degrees it simply means i'll have to cut an edge of 45 and the other 45 so when i join them together i achieve the 90 degrees <clears throat> so that's why i'm having this this edge of 45 take for instance <clears throat> As I had marked, these are 90 degrees earlier. On. I marked 90 degrees. So if I want to achieve the 45, I get this edge. I make it lie flat on the edge of, of my workpiece. Once it's flat on the workpiece, then I will be able to mark the 45 the 40, 45 degrees so I mark the 45 here I take it to the 90 then I bring it to the 45 again <clears throat> so once I cut out this piece this piece meaning I've cut off 45 degrees 45 degrees from this section going this side once I cut it out I'll be achieving the 45 if I cut another 45 this side <clears throat> another 45 this side I remove out this piece still with a hacksaw or a grinder when this piece comes out and I join these two joints together I'll be able to achieve the 90 degrees so this is 45 this is 45 once I remove this out I'll be able to achieve the 90 degrees 
so as we had seen this is the piece we had hatched out mm, so once i remove off the 45 and the 45 from the other side i remove out a piece like that so once i join these two angles i'll be able to achieve the 90 degrees so i've removed 45 from one side and the 45 from one side when i join the two pipes i'll be able to achieve the 90 degree angle so that's the the basic importance of the 45 <coughs> bisected on our square so you take note of the the bisection on the square gives us the 45 and the 45 then we achieve the 90 degrees of the edges so most of the corners we see uh, on the shutters the windows tables you'll find the edge is always 90 degrees so that's how we achieve the 90 degrees 45 45 we achieve the 90 degrees so the basic importance of the square is that one so we've been seeing an example of a square so basically we've been seeing this uh, it's a square an engineer square but there are very many more types of squares uh, we've not seen uh, we have an engineer's bevel so it's a square but for read the difference this one gives us 90 and the 45 but the bevel furthermore breaks into degrees it's like a protractor it can give you 32 from 0 to 180 degrees that's an engineer's bevel uh, so for it you can divide furthermore the angles from 0 to 180 and you mark out a certain workpiece uh, we have we have a tri square uh, the difference with this engineer square and a tri square an engineer square both edges on the blade are 90 degrees but a tri square for it the provision is only on the inside inside edge of the blade it's where the squareness is the tri square an engineer square and we've talked about the bevel square so those are the three common types and uh, not to forget we also have the civil or a civil engineer square this one mainly they use it in construction as you can see the bevel it's used by engineers but for it it further breaks down degrees from 0 to 180 this one an engineer square both edges are 90 degrees and the tri square it's only the inside edge which gives you the squareness of the workpiece so those are the three common types of squares we use in the workshop i remain isa from the innovation consortium thanks for watching keep tuned in for our next episodes of how to thank you